Yeah. All actually, right. actually, I did. Actually, hold on. This is not a grudge match. Uh, S Team Nine and um, Team XKHD are actually from from separate groups. Are they? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I just looked that up. They are from separate groups. It was K XKHD and Submains that had tied in, in sort of that grudge match. Um, ah. Which, you know, never ended up happening because Submains was defeated by Team 9 and XKHD. Um, oh no, XKHD, yeah, they did and defeated uh, Team. Yeah, so this is not a grudge match. The grudge match. <laughs> We'll See how later. difficult it is to keep everything straight as a streamer <laughs> when you're casting uh, these? All right. Well, anyways, welcome, everybody. This is uh, game one of our loser's bracket final between Team 9 and XKHD. Does any of you, one of you guys want to go over Team 9's lineup? Yeah, Team 9 is running um, the same lineup they've been running up to this point. A St. Vincent, a Napoli, a Des Moines, a Des Moines, and a Salem. They have shown exceptional skill in fielding this team, especially Toxic Symphony St. Vincent, which has done many gameplays, uh, kind of like, which has pulled several plays over the course of this tournament. All right. SAT, what's going on with uh, XKHD, sir? So they've brought a Sleefin, a Stalingrad, uh, probably the only team I've seen Stalingrad so far. Same thing with a Marseille, and then they also have a Napoli. So their team comp is a lot more aggressive, focusing on trying to get, like, uh, angles versus a pure DPM fight with Team 9. Absolutely. Now, this is the third time that I've seen DTK Gamer, in the, uh, who's in the Marseille right now, try to find a way to deal with that Norse spawn. If you look at where High Fire is right now, that's what I'm talking about. He's perfectly covered, and he could just sit there, bow in, and just gun, gun, gun for eternity. So, That's a good point. So now DTK's in the Marseille trying to make that happen. He tried with the San Martin failed. He tried with the Des Moines failed. Now he's trying with the Marseille and he's just running away. So <laughs> I guess that's a fail too. I don't know. Yeah. High fire strat is basically to isolate the Marseille. He can just 1v1 him. And as long as he advances carefully, he can just constantly stay out of... Uh, he can stay in cover and just make sure DTK doesn't get any support. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like uh, XKHD is going for a hard right strategy, completely giving up the A side of the map. Interesting. Understandable, considering the, the advantageous position of High Fire's Des Moines. But it looks like Cernia says Stalingrad seems to be under under heavy fire. He is where he is backing up. I don't know how much further he can back up. There is only so much <laughs> he can back up. Well, Khan puts out that smoke screen to try to help prevent uh, spotting. But because of this map being so small, now he's in Salem radar positioning anyway. So now he's in trouble. Yes. Mm -hmm. Helgrunt now being a little bit more aggressive with a Schlieffen. Past couple games we saw, he was a little bit more passive. And I think that was was a, a costly decision for those battles. All right, looks like the Schlieffen second. No, no, the Schlieffen second ace cannot hit the Des Moines. Look at that. Nope, high fire is not detected. But Helgrant needs to get into the B cap and just grab it. I mean, he's right there. He might as well just go a little bit farther. Yep. It looks like uh, Mar uh, DTK Gamers Marseille is trying to catch the ambush on the Des Moines in right there. I'd like that play. So they figure at some point High Fire is going to go in. Now High Fire is radaring, so the, the gig is up. He's not yes. going to be able to get on the side. But I think between How Grunt and DTK, their, their goal is to 2v1 him down. Oh, mm -hmm. Khan goes down early. Yeah, they weren't able to trade out Sirocco, and he's getting heal. So this is actually pretty big. This is big. Khan, historically, oh. was the last player alive for his team. So, yeah, that, that's painful to see him go down early like that. Yeah, yeah, that gamble, unfortunately, did not pay off. And Sirak is back up to 24k. Yep, he did lose... Have... It's 
front turret is down. Sorry, what was that? High fire is going uh, high to fire uh, drive and by. DTK. They're going to try to drive. They're going to try to do a drive by here. Oh, that was a that was a bounce. That was a baffle, bounce off high fire with the yeah. shells there. That was an interesting bouncy bounce. Toxic uh, cross firing as well. Yep. Is he just going to ram? They're just, He's ramming. They're just ramming. They're just going to ram. Okay. All right. Well, if you think about it, the the, the positioning there's they literally uh, XKHD had literally nothing to lose in doing the ram. Um, Schlieffen is in just in a very rough position, being easily in a place where he could be crossfired by three separate cruisers. As well, we see Sarakus uh, Salem backing up. I would say XHD has everything to lose from that ram because now they're down a ship. They have only the Schlieffen and Stalin. Team Nine does have three ships operational. Yeah, sorry, I was thinking. Sorry, I was thinking Team Nine. Team That's Nine okay. has the advantage here. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you see how confusing it is. <laughs> Yeah. There was there was a game where I completely streamed the entire game until the very last second, thinking that they were the wrong that, that they're the other team. Oh, that happened yesterday because the team uh, did the the opposite spawn and they were assigned. So exactly. that absolutely can't happen. Yes. All right. We have Seal Knight nice Napoli. He is coming around the corner, but he is taking a very protective positioning here. I think yeah, Helgra seals... needs to move up a bit to get Siraku. Like, he's yeah. not being able to threaten his broadside at all. No. Yeah. And you're right. Siraku has both front turrets disabled, by the way. Actually, no, oh. they're both out. They're both destroyed. They're permanent. destroyed. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> toxic being toxic and just uh, super healing at the last second. <laughs> Look at him just... Whoop. <laughs> Just giving them a sliver of hope before just pressing the uh, 3D print button. And the New big ship. thing is, you know, if, if the Stalingrad, if, if Xerneos is able to hit Seal and Hellgrunt too, I mean, that, that could be huge. Because Salem really isn't much of a threat if he's, you know, both his front turrets are down. Yeah. If the question is whether Xerneos is aware of this. I mean, sure, he's not shooting, so that could be a great and good sign. I mean, but, you know, you really have to look at the Salem first to say, oh... He and should, though. Uh, at the same time, Siraku has a torpedo, so yes. he, has to be, he has to be pretty careful here. Yes, I don't understand the decision oh. for this for Xerneos to move forward, but his butt turret does what butt turret does best. Protect. Yes. Alright, well... Which is bringing this down to 2v2. Yeah, torpedoes coming in on seal, just barely dodging those. Gotta, gotta love that Italian turning, you know? Toxic they literally need... pushed to the back to the map border. Oh, if they get to, if they take out Hellgrunt here, that should be game. And that is, yep. There he goes. Toxic is still burning. Oh mm -hmm. no! Oh no! And he does not have a heal, so. He yep, has there's a heal. The heal. There's a heal. Doesn't have DCP. Sorry, misspoke. So yes, that Once should again. be GGs. Toxic giving them a sliver of hope before uh, 3D printing again in front of their eyes. Yep. Indeed. Oh, shoot. Well, I forgot to change the transition. Yes. The match is going on. Thank you, Dark Stealth. <laughs> Wait, you're streaming this and doing that the the updated cheater as well? Oh, no, no. It's just someone's... Oh. No, it was just, it's my overlay. I had the wrong over... I have a, I have my prep overlay. It doesn't show the game. Oh! <gasps> Uh -oh. <laughs> I've been watching a prep overlay <laughs> oh, no. where, without actually seeing the game. Oh no, it's a disaster. <laughs> it's a rite of passage. It is It is I, very I much a rite of passage. Sea Raptor's done that before as well. Yeah. So it happens to everybody. Yeah. Okay, Toxic Symphony is, is launching his torpedoes. I do remember yesterday Toxic was talking about how he has managed to land, land several successful torpedoes in this, in this tournament so far. You should never underestimate the St. Vincent torpedoes. Oh yeah, gotta love the funny torps. Yes, they're, they're even more funny than the uh, than the Yoshino ones. Ah, uh, twenty kilometer team killing torps. Yes, gotta love them. Yes, mm. they I should like have how... just kept that as a feature. Yep. Yes, 
I like how Toxic is just Wing right now. With full engine boost too, by the way. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I can see that now, yeah. He's Trying to push Xerneos back, right into Seal. Seal's been doing a really good job in his Napoli. Yes. All day. Mm -hmm. Well, we're about to get our death pick, as Xerneos is going to go down momentarily. And there he goes. Game one. game one goes to Team 9. And there's my death pick. Excellent. <laughs> All right, let's see what map they choose next. Congratulations, Team 9. Hold on, one sec. Let's get into this. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, who wants to take which side as we get into game two of this loser bracket final? I can handle uh, Team 9. Team 9 is running their tradition, their same comp, the Des Moines, the Napoli, the Salem, and the St. Vincent. But the change happens in XKHD. And actually, X. XKHD is taking the same lineup as when I casted them yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. Sleep Thin as their battleship. Salem and Napoli, pretty standard. Nevsky is the uh, wild card here, though. Mm -hmm. So typically, you don't see Nevsky here. Uh, she's usually supported by Destroyer in competitive, but you don't have that Destroyer here. So, mm -hmm. But she can still be taken for a 12 kilometer radar. Uh, last game, she hung up uh, north of A, just kind of kept radar on A and pinned, uh, pinned the Grozify that tried to cap it long enough for everyone to just focus fire her to death. I'm just thinking of that name, Grozovoy. Wow. Okay. Yeah, and I saw like Grozovoy yesterday too. Yeah. I've seen Khan, and I could have sworn I saw Khan do this actually to Seals Napoli on this very map. Just the, the spawns were flipped, and he went all the way up to the border. And almost died, but anyway. One other thing to, to note is DTK Gamer set up for the Napoli. I don't know if you guys have the build viewer. Mm -hmm. But he's not running the concealment module. He's running the consumables module to extend the duration of his smoke, his heal, his DCP, and his plane. Let's see. Uh, also, that is a good point. It's not a bad idea. Uh, ships tend to be uh, spotted for a while in anyways, so why not just uh, give you something with it? bit more like direct firepower yep. or combat capability. DTK yeah. makes Inky early. He wants to make sure he gets this cap because he doesn't have that concealment advantage anymore. By the yeah, way, he got really but... bad rolls on his torpedoes. His port side torpedo, 861 hit points. RNG issue. Mm -hmm. It's a RNG skill issue. You just have to keep re-rolling until you get something. That's right. Now, once again, Hellgrunt is sitting still, playing goalie. Yep. I guess they're deciding where to put the sleeve in here, because if you put him to the offline where he's chasing down one ship, he's not going to get any good use. Yeah. I would say, like, I, the sleeve in, in this particular map, I just don't see the effectiveness of the sleeve in comparison to something like, like the St. Vincent or the Ohio. Oh, I've seen some amazing Ohio here plays here on on Greece, I can't say I've seen a lot of good St. Vincent, St. Schlieffen plays here. Mm. And so, you know, if, if he's playing goalie, he would do feel like he'd do better in a St. Vincent in that, to that regard. He's really just got one game uh, game plan. Go up to 5-6 line. Mm -hmm. Now, recently, I believe, last time we saw Xerneos in this position on this map, he was actually running Hydro instead of Radar. Which is kind of an interesting idea for Salem in that position because it runs a lot longer than that radar does. Indeed. Look if you're going to take a radar, just take the Des Moines. Mm -hmm. Look at High Fire just raining shells on Helgrunt Schlieffen. Uh, oh, DCK yeah. Right there. He's forced to back off already, but I don't think he minds too much. He's not focusing on the Napoli, though. Thankfully, GTK has. Thankfully, GTK at this range. Oh, he took. It's like he just took a hit oh. from St. Vincent. 
There goes his port side torpedoes. Yep. Skill Unlucky. issue. Unlucky. <laughs> Should have just dodged. TTK is running a secondary spec. No, no. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is running a secondary spec. Pick. Pretty normal for a Napoli. Yes. Yep. Toxic is probably going to take one torpedo on the tip. Uh, maybe. Yep. Yes. He takes one. He, you know, he's got he's got to provide content, right? Yes. He, he does. He, can't, he does have to take some hits so that he can provide his super heal content. Right. The big thing about that torpedo hit, though, is he can't super heal as much compared to fire mm. and flood from that torpedo. That's true. Hit. I think he took it on the bow, so he should be able to still heal most of it. Mm -hmm. It's when the torpedo hits on the uh, citadel area that you can't really recover. Right. DTK all the way on the border now. Salem hot in pursuit. Ah, uh, this is a interesting play from XKHD. So if they, they're, they're taking the Salem off, they're going to just kind of 2v1 this Napoli here. Right. I like it, honestly. Hold the yep. rest of them in position and then execute the one lone ship. Meanwhile, Perhaps... DTK is just running distraction over here in the corner. Should could, could we say that they are trying to club the seal? No? Really? <sighs> Fine, be that way. I could put. A, I could use Discord soundboard if you want. I was gonna say, where's the soundboard when you need it? All right, I give me a second. I gave permissions. <laughs> oh boy, there we go. There we go. Crickets. Yep. Okay, Got it works. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hellgrunt right. is regretting life as he's getting he spammed to death here. Indeed. This is definitely one of those moments where you wish you were either in Ohio or St. Vincent. Oh. Or Actually, look at Highfire's position. He is just barely uh, using the rock to fire over concealment. Yep. Oh, definitely, I can see that, yeah. Those those shells just go over those islands right there and force him into harass, to harass him. Ah, very good play. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we've seen Highfire, Highfire doing that before. Yeah. We've seen a lot of really good high fire domain plays where he just knows these islands so well that he just knows exactly the right angles he needs to be at to fire. Uh when I ca when I casted uh, Team Nine yesterday, I got uh, I got to see all of his unlucky moments. Basically, just getting <laughs> crossfire from every angle. <laughs> I saw I one one such moment as well. Yeah. All right, we got Nevsky versus Napoli now. All right, here we go. Oh, Operation Seal Clubbing. So, unlike uh, the other Napoli, Seal's Nine Torps are just are working perfectly fine. Plenty of hit, hit point pool there. Khan oh. loses his front turret for a sec. One of uh, them. Khan's port turrets are not good. He might be able. To... Can he knock him out? Uh, get the torpedoes off. He went for guns. Did he fire Hello? it too early? Torpedoes? Hello? Yeah. I don't see any of those. Sleefin goes down? Uh, yeah, I think he messed up. He fired it too early. And well, he's, what, 90 further, torpedo reload? he's further messing Bottom. up because he continues his turn broadside. That's ouch. Those torps are. Nope, no good. No good. No good. Wait. No. Yeah, they're huh? no good. Yeah, at that point, yeah, widespread no. would have been better, because only Wide one is spread. needed. Yeah. Or cot spread, as he, we call it. He made the mistake of, uh, it looks like it was not reloaded when he made the drive-by, mm -hmm. or he just mm -hmm. forgot. Well, that is a club seal. Either way. Yeah. Yes. Unf he had the opportunity to trade one for one, but unfortunately, that's going to be a, a critical mistake going into the mid to late game. Mm -hmm. Well... XKHD, no more battleship for them. And 9 has no more flanking cruiser for them. DTK now has no torpedoes whatsoever. Uh, and it's just barely holding on to life right there. 
It's okay, he's got a heal. It'll buff out. Yeah. Darnius of Salem is pretty is pretty healthy though. And he's in the Napoli, yeah, the DGKs. Napoli is still living. Yes. Uh oh, 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 oh. Oof. Are oh, you thought 4k off from St. Vincent? Toxic had AP in the barrels, thinking he might get a lucky shot on DTK when he's not prepared. Mm -hmm. um, so he wasn't able to really... He would have been better off just shooting HE there, I think. Yeah. So, Zath, what do you think mm. of uh, both teams' disposition going into the late mid-game? Um, I, I, I gotta say, having a battleship is very nice, especially one with the superhero with ridiculous uh, sized guns and all that good stuff. So I got to give it to Team 9 at this point. I think they're looking much stronger. Um, Khan, who is probably XKHD's best player, at least from what we've seen today with his Napoli plays, is the lowest health uh, ship in the board for a few more seconds until DTK catches up with him. So <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I, I think I like Team 9's disposition overall better. I also like um, High Fire's position in the Des Moines there just to block out an attempt to move north by uh, Team XKHD. Do you agree, Santi? I, I, I definitely do feel like um, the the, uh, the the fact that the, the thing with the low high health, the nearly full HP Salem just does not make up for the fact that, you know, there's the St. Vincent just has so much cruiser deleting potential, um, especially since, especially since Napoli, no matter what happens, will take damage. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, he nope. manages to dodge that. Good juke. Napoli just being Napoli. Mm -hmm. BTK is out of heals, so he's gone through all of his heals that have been extended because of the consumables module. And the decision to take two cruisers to kill that one earlier now comes back to kind of haunt XKHD. They can't uh, really win uh, the trade. Yeah. And yeah. neither the Salem or the Nevsky are ships I would really consider ships that can really put the St. Vincent out of the fight. Um, so that they can, I mean, you, we, we're about to enter a pair of uh, 2v1 where the St. Vincent and the Salem versus the Nevsky. And we, I, I just, Ooh. I know how that's going to end. Oof. Just look at that. He just yeah. chunks through the armor there. Salem and Des Moines continue to juke it out, but Salem may have slightly more DPM. And the Con break. Oh no, they're both running. They're both running DPM on. Con breaks so out the band-aids. Yep. yep. There Doesn't goes matter. Nevsky. Although he had almost had a good shot on high fire if he had kept going. He would have had a yeah. good broadside shot on high fire with the AP. Oh, Here torp, comes the funny torp. 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 Doink. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the funny torp. It is indeed, and that's the end of this match. It goes 2-0 for Team 9. Indeed. Which means 9 goes on to the Grand Finals, coming up shortly.